it's never fun when you're losing. Oh my days! Nathan! What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at Nedved, a deep dive. We're going to show you the ultimate build from having played with him on my live stream yesterday. And of course, we're going to show you the best skills and how to get the most out of him. Did you spin or skip for Nedved? Let's find out if it's worth it. All right, boys, so we did actually spin for Nedved. Huge shout out to the lads on stream that donated to the stream and to open in this pack. I wasn't going to spin for Nedved, honestly, because I feel like he's kind of a player that even though he's got beastly stats and we know what we're going to be getting out of him, I just have a stacked squad. But that, that's a completely separate issue, I suppose. Obviously, my channel is focused on content and being able to provide as much content as possible for you guys. And we did have to go for an Nedved. He's a really solid attacking midfielder. I feel like he's definitely going to be slept on as an attacking option because he's so good everywhere else. He's a very good utility man. He's like Sadarf. He's kind of like Skolzi and Gerrard. Passing, you can see here, first time pass to create a chance, and the run on as well is fantastic. He's down as a whole player, so that's going to change how you play him. Now, we're going to focus on Nedved in this one, but we have Davids and Albertini to go as well. I've gone for a hybrid build, okay? Now, there's a couple of alterations. We'll get into that with the next clip that we show you, but for now, we're going to do a comparison between other players in this area, and this depends on what whole players that you have in your squad, what attack and midfielders you have in your squad. This is the build that we've gone for here. Very heavy with the dribbling, the acceleration, and there's the build that you see there. Uh, with the tight possession, kind of not as high as we'd like it to be, but he's still aggressive. Now, I think that this is going to be the secret to this Nedved card, is to give 3 into defending, right, and 8 into shooting. That's going to give you a plus 85, 86 finishing with the manager boost, obviously, and you're going to have that sweet spot. If you want to play him as a central midfielder, you're going to have that 80 aggression, which aggression doesn't just control winning the ball back, it also is how aggressive the player AI is on the pitch as well, which a lot of people seem to forget when they're talking about attacking players. So that's the build that we've gone for there. We'll have a look at his skills in a second because I'm going to focus more on his skills when you are looking at a different type of build if you're playing him out wide. We'll have a look at that in a second. But essentially what you're going to be going for with Nedved is probably going to be through the middle. I definitely feel like people will sleep on him as an attacking midfielder because he's not silky smooth. He's not as good as the likes of Musiala uh, in terms of attacking but he's a very good kind of helper to get the ball back as well, which you can kind of press from the front. Now, if you compare him with Baggio here, if you compare him with any of these cards, it depends what orchestrator or hole player that you have. It's the same with Albertini. If you're playing Nedved here, and you're going to be playing him as an attacking midfielder, if you are training him up, you want to kind of match the likes of Baggio if you're looking for an attacking option. This is where he kind of falls down a little bit because Baggio's down as a creative playmaker, pretty much has better everything apart from kicking power and obviously defense. Tight possession is huge on Baggio, his dribbling is better. Everything is kind of even, except that Nedved has got really nice passing and low pass, but the passing is kind of a bit busted at the moment. This is one of my favorite free cards that they released, which is a classic number 10, Gundo. And this is a card that really shapes up as well. But it depends on who you're actually comparing him to. I personally feel like if you blow the doors open, and you want to play a very attacking attacking midfielder such as Stevie G it's all about how you build him this is probably the card that is more similar to Nedved because he's got the defense capabilities and high stamina and you know way more defensive than him but I think Jared is not suited as a whole player you know it's a different type of player so yes you don't really need Nedved if you already have your trio in midfield set uh, you know set but I definitely think he's he's a really good utility player and the trick with Nedved, I think, is going to be sub-tactics. And it's also going to be playing him out wide, in my opinion. Look at the dribbling here from Nedved, lads. Look at the play that he does. We lose possession there, that's fine. We just, you know, we recycle possession, he gets into a good area. Little cheeky little dribble, left stick dribbling, nothing really fancy. And then puts the ball into a dangerous area with the driven shot in or the driven cross in. Ronaldinho's there to touch it home. But this is really kind of where Nedved started to excel for me when I was playing him later on in the stream when we were testing him out wide. He's just unbelievable dribbling. Like, his, his, his center of gravity for a bigger guy is amazing. And he can shoot on both feet. That's a huge thing with this Nedved card, is you will be able to shoot left or right because he's got really high accuracy on both of these feet. Now, with the additional skills, I reckon that if you are playing him as an attacking midfielder, if you're playing him straight up through the middle, it goes without saying. You need to throw on one-touch passing him. You need to throw on low lofted on him. And I also don't like the fact that he doesn't have true passing. There are three that you definitely need. Shooting, he's okay with the skills. If you are playing him out wide, if you're playing him in that wide position that we showed you there with the clips, I definitely recommend trying throw. Soul control, ball roll, 
to get ball roll, soul control, flip flap, and double touch on him. And then low lofted or true as well. He does have pinpoint crossing, but it's a very, very nice card. Let me know if you did spin for an Edvid or not. It depends. Listen, it depends on your perspective, lads. Everybody has a favorite player, or everyone has a different player that they like to play with. For me, the question becomes, does Nedved, is he going to overtake or is he going to start in the starting 11 ahead of Musiala, ahead of Honus, ahead of Baggio, ahead of maybe Messi in that attacking midfielder role, the creative playmaker? That's all a personal decision, but he's definitely a fantastic card. He covers so much ground. He's like a box-to-box slash destroyer while still being able to have massive stamina and 90 you know, low pass with really good finishing, really good dribbling. You can play him in a multitude of positions. Let me know if you spun for him. Davids is up next. I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe.